I'm now speaking to Layla BV, uh, who is currently in Liverpool. Hi, Layla. Hi, honey. Uh, it's good. How are you? Oh, I'm I'm good. Things uh, I'm having <laughs> problems with technology, but uh, we, I seem to have got it. With us. Um, it's and, completely fine. I would like to say first of all thanks to Open to Scout uh, Facebook group for bringing you to my attention. It was uh, you posting on there that led me to to find out about you. So I'm, I'm glad glad that that was possible. Uh, yeah, thanks to Dean. Yeah, he's, he's the one that um, put me in touch with it. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's beginning to take off. It's it's a great it's a great thing the way that social media can can be used to help help people like yourselves who don't have management uh, and are trying to promote yourselves. On your Facebook profile, you say you've been singing since you were five, writing songs since you were nine. Uh, so clearly, you've been quite committed to music for uh, most of most of your life. How do you feel that music uh, fits into your life at the moment? It fits into my life completely. Um, I do. I basically do my music 24-7. I live and breathe music. I absolutely love music. I'm in college right now, studying um, my level 2 music as well. Um, I've got my exams soon, uh, so I'm working hard for that. Um, in my spare time, I do music. Um, I'm recording, collaborating with artists, and um, doing all that. Um, I'm always on my fan page as well, speaking and speaking to all my fans. Good. I answer every single message. <laughs> well, I, th- I think it's important that uh, people like yourselves do sort of recognise the importance of fans, and uh, you know that, that every everybody that takes the time to contact you, uh, if if they can see you've got the you know taking the trouble to reply to them, that's great. Is that yeah? Is that your daughter yeah. doing things in the background there? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I don't think she realised that I'm All on right. the radio. She, 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 she's, she's, she's not wanting to see anything, is she? No, <laughs> no she, she's actually looking for um, something to eat to go to bed. Oh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry for distracting, distracting you. No, from it's her, fine. But, uh, now, can I ask about the BV? You, you, you've, you've got yourself billed as Layla BV. Can you tell us a bit about the yes. BV, please? Well, the BV stands for Be Victorious. Because I believe no matter what dream you have, no matter what you want to go for, um, you should go for it and be victorious in what you do. You should never, ever let anything stop you from doing what you want, whether it be lifestyle, friends, family, anything. There's always a way around it. There's always something to do. There's yeah. always something you can do to get there. I, I think that's a great uh, motto to have because uh, it's too easy to be to fall into being a victim and blaming other people for yeah. things go, for things going wrong. Uh, it, just because you try, things don't always go right. But if you just keep trying, you know, it's it's it, it's bound to be better than just uh, sort of like, uh, lying yeah, back and wondering about other things. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's completely heartbreaking. Yeah. I've had so many rejections when it's come to me music in the past when I was younger. And I, yeah, I used to get so upset and it used to dishearten me. It really did. And then I just, one day, it was actually a friend who, who told me, you know, no, not to give up. And I really appreciate him for that because since since he told me that and since I was like, okay, and tried again, everything everything's just kind of turned around oh, and good. gotten better. Good, so good, good. I believe if you carry on and just be positive, no matter how hard it is, and it is going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. It's it's not easy. Of course not. You know, it, yeah. it doesn't matter if it's music or anything. It's not easy to get your dream. That's why they call it a dream. It's not yeah. easy to get. Plus, if you try as much as you can, anything's possible. But it's good that you've got you know some people who were prepared to sort of uh, show their faith in you and, and uh, encourage you to keep going. Now, you your yeah. your profile says that you've done rock. R and B, soul. You work with rappers. You, you seem to span a whole range of genres. Do you have any particular favourites, or do you feel it's important to spread your talents across genres? Well, yeah, I I I can sing anything. I sing anything and everything. I just love to sing. I love music in general, whether it be um, rock, dance, Asian music, or whether it be power ballads. I actually got started by listening to me um, sister's music, uh, Kylie Minogue and Celine Dion and all those, and Jason Donovan. Um, uh, do you do you remember? I don't know if you remember. Do you remember the videos, Kylie Minogue and Jason Donovan? Oh you know, yes. The videos. My, and they my, used to sing together, and they were like completely in love. Yeah. My, I, <laughs> I, think, used to, I used to, yeah. I used to son, love all those and, videos. My son and daughter. I think they were they were sort of growing up at that at that 
that time. Yeah, I remember them. Yeah, yeah I was too. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my sister used to love them. She used to have them on all the time in the bedroom. We used to sit there watching them with her, and that's what got me into music. Yeah. And my dad, I remember, he gave me an LP, and um, I put it, you know, played it, and it was called California Dreaming. And I used to play it all the time, and I loved it. And I used to sing it, I used to learn all the words. And funnily enough, when I went to high school, it's one of the songs that we performed um, in our choir. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I already knew the words, oh, <laughs> that was the good, good thing. But yeah, um, I absolutely love music. Um, I love rock as well, because my mum was a biker growing up. Um, so I've I've been growing up. I've been around all different types of music. My dad was in, very much into Kate Bush and um, Eric Clapton. Can't right. my name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I absolutely love all types. All types is absolutely beautiful, even classical. Well, I think yeah, I think there's something to be gained from from every every genre. I, I, I've I've met people in the past. You say, oh, you know, it's got to be heavy metal. Everything heavy metal is great. Anything else is rubbish. Or, yeah. the, or they'll say the same about country and western or but no you know there's good things in every genre there's bad things yeah. and, and i think it's important to sort of be open-minded so yeah, is that, that's good. Yeah. Is beautiful. yeah now ha, ha, what's uh, your history with regard to live performances up until now uh, how often do you get out to play where do you where do you get to well um i try i get gigs as much as i can um, because I haven't got management, they're not all the time, as as you know, you would imagine. Yeah. Uh, base, yeah. But I get a, whenever I do a gig, I've given me all, and I always get a good resource. And uh, re- recording wise, I've I've heard a few of your things on uh, SoundCloud. Is <laughs> uh, is there anywhere yeah. else that people can get to hear your stuff? Or? Yes, you can go on YouTube if they're not on Facebook and check me out. Right. Um, just type in Layla BV and I'll come straight up. Or if you are on Facebook, you can go on my Layla BV fan page yep. and just again type in Layla BV and then it'll come up with me SoundCloud links, my YouTube links, everything basically all yep. in one place. And there was so there was one yeah, there was one particular one I heard on SoundCloud that was really quite good, quite interesting, but uh, not something I could play on radio. Uh, something about the music industry <laughs> with some rappers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I know that song. I said it with two rappers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, I was asked. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I was asked to do that. I did um, the harmonies and that. Right. I actually uh, just did on the spot. So everything was just basically on the spot. <laughs> but it was really fun doing it. Kind of took an M&M turn, though. Right. <laughs> I think. <laughs> now, uh, I've noticed uh, some posts recently about you performing after the sunsets live yeah. for the first time. Yeah. Uh, what can you tell yeah. us about uh, that? And where, where will people be able to see that? Yeah, I'm, I'm performing after the sunsets live. Yeah, as you say, first time. Um, and my launch party uh, for my single Be Victorious because um, I think that's a huge message to send to people you yep. know, um, to follow the dreams as I said basically that song has been a huge hit amongst my fans more so than I ever realised to be honest and I'm really happy about that um, I have to, I love the song myself. I think it's great. I'm glad everyone else loves it. I'm glad I've, it gets everyone in a good mood and dancing because that's what I was looking for. It's um, a really like summer tune. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think me fans would really appreciate me singing it for them. I played pieces before this interview, and I'm going to finish off afterwards yeah. by playing after the sunsets. And yeah, it's a great, it's a great anthemic, uh, as you say, summer, summer kind of oh, vibe to you. it. I was going to ask you about uh, <laughs> coming from Liverpool. Do you feel yeah. because of uh, Liverpool's heritage with the Mersey Beat sound, the Beatles, and uh, and later on bands like uh, Echo and the Bunnymen and so on? Do you f- do you feel under any pressure the, to perform or or you know, what are your thoughts about being a musician from Liverpool? Um, I feel honoured to be associated with the Beatles and everyone like that because they are such epic uh, musicians. They were, you know, in the day, they were even now. They're still, they're still amazing artists, and um, people still remember them as amazing artists. And um, to me, that just, you know, if pe- if people know, say, oh yeah, she comes from Liverpool, that's where the Beatles come from. It's not, it's to me, it's not going to be a pressure of is she going to be good enough? Because I don't think that'll be related to the Beatles. Mm-hmm. Beatles, because yep. not a bunch of guys, <laughs> <laughs> basically. But I think they'll, I think it'll, it'll be a good thing to be like, oh, she can't, you know. 
the Beatles come from there. Maybe yeah. she's good as well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's more, <laughs> you know, hopefully. more, ex- more exciting to, to be able to say that yeah. you're from, from there. Yeah, well, exactly. That's great. And yeah. uh, you you say you're, you're studying music at college. You've got exams coming up. Is this the yeah. final year or do you have more studying planned after that? Basically, I'm going on to me level three next year. Um, I do finish this year very soon. I finish in June, so I've got all my final exams, as I say. But I am thinking of going on to me level three and doing all that. Um, I'm still going to carry on with my music the way I am in my spare time. Um, I'm, I do it all the time. I just love it. I do. Good. good. <laughs> well, uh, I could talk about it forever. I just yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah, I can hear that in your voice. I love it's my great, fans as great, well. It's just great to speak. Amazing. To you. Uh, I, I wish you every success with your exams, every success with your launch. Uh, I look forward to hearing Thank more you. about what you, you're doing and please let me have uh, new tracks and I'll be quite uh, glad to be able to give, give them some airplay uh, in the meantime. I will be, Susie. Thanks very much for taking the time out to, to chat to me. You are very welcome. Thank you well, for interviewing me. <laughs> it's, it's been a pleasure, Leila. Uh, really enjoyable. Oh, you too, honey. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Take care, Leila. Thank and you very much, honey. I'll maybe catch up with you sometime. Okay, bye. Definitely. Bye. Bye-bye.